Women are central to the fight against youth radicalization and the management of irregular migration. Protecting the victims and fostering female leadership were on the agenda at the Kranz Montana Forum's African Women Initiative in Brussels. Women and children make up nearly 60% of refugees and migrants and are at a greater risk of exploitation and violence. 90% of all children on the move are unaccompanied or separated from their families. Italy is one of their main points of arrival in Europe. We adopted a special bill for these children to um, include, uh, to be adopted by families and be um, driven to the education and to schools. For some minority groups, the situation is worse. The Yazidis in Iraq and Syria have been specifically targeted by the so-called Islamic State. Sakharov Prize laureate Lamia Haji Bashar is a survivor. The situation for Yazidi refugees is very bad, especially those in Iraq. No steps have been taken to help or protect them. The forum was also a chance to reiterate the need to invest in programs for the empowerment of women and give them more resources to fight youth radicalization both at home and at school. One attendee spoke about a territorial development program in the south of Morocco. The Fum El Wed Technopole will help young people by boosting research and development, offer training and education, and help create startups and businesses, both for young entrepreneurs locally and for the whole of sub Saharan Africa. A twofold strategy for the EU boosting jobs locally and creating legal pathways to Europe for the tens of thousands of migrants expected to arrive in the coming years.